Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Manich reaction. The Manich reaction is an interesting application of alpha carbon chemistry, uh, where you react a ketone generally with an aldehyde. Uh, and I'm going to choose uh, for the moment formaldehyde. Um, and formaldehyde is the most common aldehyde used for this because, uh, well, we'll see in a minute. And you react these with uh, some sort of amine. It could be a primary amine, it actually could be a secondary amine. I'll talk about that um, in the presence of acid uh, and with the removal of water to get an amine as a, a product. So you form this new amino group at the alpha carbon. From a mechanism standpoint, um, what happens first is your formaldehyde, I keep wanting to make it oxygen, here we go, and the amine react together to form an imine. Yep. React together to form an imine. And I've already done a video uh, in, a, in the past on imine uh, formation. You can go search for that and find my mechanism here. So uh, I am going to label this step for what it is. Step one, imine formation. Step two, enol formation. So we're in acid, and acid facilitates the equilibrium between a ketone and its enol tautomer. And then And step three is the, the nucleophilic attack. And so here's where our key bond forming reaction happens. Uh, first, amine gets protonated by the acid that's available. And now it is a slightly better electrophile. Then we have our enol. The enol is nucleophilic. And protonated charge. Uh, then this forms all. So this forms the key carbon-carbon bond that needed to form, and then something, uh, water or, or the actually, right? The most basic thing present in the, the reaction is the amine. So let's use the amine as our final base. Take away this proton. And so after proton transfer, here is our product. Right. In order for this reaction to work, uh, you need to have uh, key ingredients are key components. We need a ketone, 
uh, we need an aldehyde with no alpha carbons or al alpha uh, carbon hydrogen bonds, and then you need an amine. And you need this aldehyde with no alpha hydrogens on it because you need that aldehyde to be electrophilic primarily and not be able to form an enol itself and compete with the other things going on, right? Uh, and then just to give sort of an idea of what can be done here, if we have a ketone and instead of using, uh, you know, I'm gonna to continue to use formaldehyde, uh, have some, again, formaldehyde's a, a pretty good example of an aldehyde that doesn't have any, that doesn't have any carbon, or doesn't have any alpha carbon, alpha carbons, or doesn't have any alpha hydrogens. We use dimethylamine, as I mentioned earlier, this works with primary amines, secondary amines, and it works with ammonia as well. Uh, ketone, add a carbon, add the amine at the, the end. Uh, and so even though Right. Even though the, the imine can't form, this still forms the, the aluminium ion, which, which is electrophilic. So, okay. Any combination, primary amine, secondary amine, ammonia, but not tertiary amines. So you have to have a, a hydrogen to replace with the new carbon-nitrogen bond. So this summarizes, uh, this is my video on the managed reaction, uh, and I did a couple of examples. So it's a really cool reaction. Take advantage of nucleophilic alpha carbons to, for the synthesis of more complicated amines. Thank you for watching.